Hi, I'm Marcus from Marcus Language Academy and today I would like to bring some light into the interesting topic of the German cases. And here too, images and colors will show us the way. To see my entire course for beginners and how I use images and colors to show you grammar, just click on the first link in the description. In German, we have several cases that may or may not change our articles. But let's see what the three most important cases in German are. Nominative is used for the subject and in the color green. That is the person or thing that performs the action. Accusative is our direct object and in blue. It directly receives the action of the verb. And dative is our indirect object and in orange. It receives the benefit or damage of the action. In German we have three different genders. And the masculine article is der. For example, der Vater, der Sohn and mm, der Ball. Now what happens when we make a sentence out of these three nouns? Der Vater gibt dem Sohn den Ball. The literal word for word translation is the father gives to the son the ball. Der Vater is the subject and therefore green because it's in nominative. Here the article doesn't change and remains there. Unlike uh, Ball and Sun. The ball is our direct object because the father gives the ball and that's why the ball is an accusative and is blue. And here the article there becomes den. The Sun has a benefit of the action and that is why it is in the dative case as an indirect object and here it is orange. The article there becomes dem. Okay, besides the masculine article we have also a feminine article D. For example in the words die Mutter, die Tochter, die Puppe. So here is what happens. Die Mutter gibt der Tochter die Puppe. The mother gives to the daughter the doll. There is no change in the article in the nominative and accusative case. It remains die. But in the dative case, the article die becomes der. And to make it even a bit more interesting, German has the neuter article das. For example, das Kind, das Pferd und das Brot. So, let's see what happens here. Das Kind gibt dem Pferd das Brot. The child gives to the horse the bread. There is no change again in the article in the nominative and accusative case. It remains das. But in the dative case, the article das becomes dem. Fortunately, there is only one option in the plural. Whether masculine, feminine or neuter, the plural article is always die. For example, die Eltern, die Kinder, die Sachen. So, let's see what happens here. Die Eltern geben den Kindern die Sachen. The parents give to the children the things. There is no change in the article in the nominative and accusative case again. It remains die. But again in the dative case, the article die becomes den. And we need to be a little bit careful because nouns in the dative plural add mostly an n at the end. 
unless, unless uh, the plural form already ends in N or S. Okay? So, this is our table for the definite articles. But let's see, um, or let's have a look what happens to the indefinite article. The indefinite article masculine art articles behave as follows. Ein Vater gibt einem Sohn einen Ball. A father gives to a son a ball. And again, there is a change for the accusative and dative case. In the uh, indefinite art uh, neuter article acts everything like that. Ein Kind gibt einem Pferd ein Brot. A child gives to a horse a bread, literally. And again, there is just a change for the dative case. The indefinite uh, feminine article behaves as follows. Eine Mutter gibt einer Tochter eine Puppe. A mother gives to a daughter a doll. And again, there is just a change for the dative case. Interestingly, there is no indefinite article for the plural. But we can negate uh, the plural by using kein. For example, keine Eltern geben keinen Kindern keine Sachen. That means no parents give to no children no things. So it's actually a negation. No? But remember, there is no indefinite article for plural. The changes of the negation in the singular is identical to the indefinite article. Yeah, these three cases are relatively common, but there is one more case. The genitive shows possession, but is hardly used in spoken language and therefore not part of my German course for beginners. You see in this table the shape of a pot and what is inside the pot does not change. So you now you know how to handle the German cases. I hope you enjoyed my video and that you don't miss anything. Please subscribe to my channel and activate the bell. I'm Marcus from Marcus Language Academy and thank you, thank you very much for watching.